What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, you guys have been asking for this video for a while now. Uh, I don't know how many comments I've gotten on Instagram Live, in the comment section, uh, just any video that I post, in the DMs. You guys have been wanting to know when I was going to drop the shoe collection video. And today is that day. I want to bring this video to you guys to, you know, just let you know how my collection has, uh, you know, come about and, you know, just kind of the, the style of shoes and, you know, the design and, you know, the colorways that I usually go for in the shoes that I pick out. Um, I want to first start by saying thank you so much to the all for all the love and support on this channel, to be honest with you. I wouldn't even be able to get the shoes that I've gotten if it wasn't for you guys supporting me on this channel and the main in the clutch page, man. Like I've all I've always been us like just someone that was infatuated with kicks and sneakers, man. So the fact that I'm able to actually live that out is because of you guys. So I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. So let's get into the video, man. Before we show off the uh, the collection one by one, I want to kind of give some uh, like background information. So when it comes to this particular collection, um, I started, I want to say October of 2019. I started this particular collection in the back in October 2019. I just started getting more shoes. I, I was really going for the Air Maxes, you know, more comfortable and affordable shoes. I did have a collection previous to the collection you guys see, um, but a lot of those shoes are in storage, but they're mostly Jordan. Actually, they were all pretty much Jordans. So I kind of had strayed away from Jordans for a while because I just wanted something that was comfortable and affordable. And if you guys know, a lot of the older J's for me, they weren't as comfortable, you know what I'm saying? And they, they started to get pricey. So I was like, I didn't find myself buying J's like that, but I, I wanted to get more into like just more comfortable Air Maxes and I, I was liking their designs and how they look. So that's why I started my collection all over again and that's where we are now. So. Let's start with the Jordans that I have recently collected. We're going to start with that and then just work my way down. I'm going to probably just talk about it briefly, not go into too much detail only because I don't want to make this video super long. I'm sure you guys would definitely watch it, but I want to just show you guys the collection bit by bit. So uh, let's start with the first pair of shoes. So the first pair of shoes is none other than the Jordan Jubilee 11s uh the 25th anniversary jordan jubilees uh i like the box i when it comes to jordans and like their special edition shoes i've always been cool with how the boxes look it literally lets you know what shoe you're getting so that's why most of my jordans or all my jordans now they don't have like a signature uh, shoe case that I have like I don't put them in a shoe case uh, like a shoe display case because I know what shoes these are so I don't have to do that uh, I like the way the box opens and here they go the Jubilee 11s man I love these shoes bro not gonna lie to you these are like honestly some of my favorite pair of 11s I've ever had, if not my favorite pair of 11s. Uh, what sells me on this shoe alone is this right here. The metallic jump, man. This, this is the main reason why I bought this shoe. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just because the metallic jump, man, I don't think there's ever been a pair of 11s that ever had a metallic jump, man. This will set it apart from any other pair of 11s that you ever see someone wearing. And once again, these are the 25th anniversaries. So with that being said, these probably won't ever get re-released. So if you're able to get these, I know they're going to be kind of pricey on the, um, the, uh, the market right now, the resale market, but these are worth the purchase. I like the, the, the sole, the clear sole at the bottom. It, it keeps it clean longer. Um, I'm rocking with this, man. They even have a little metallic finish to the 23 sign. If you guys know anything about Jordan 11s, a lot of times it's like, it's not this, it's not a metallic finish, but it's not this solid, not this strong. So sometimes the 23 is able to like kind of wipe off a wear and tear in the back, but this one 
game looks like it's gonna be there for a while so i like it man and i like the fact that they got like jordan spelling down the shoelace holes shoelace straps i thought that was pretty unique man so yeah these are i'm not even gonna lie to you I, I put these on with ease every time they're comfortable sleek they look good man like i just i love these shoes bro so there's a good chance if you ever see me out and about in Houston, there's a good chance if I'm just chilling, I ain't, I'm just trying to remain low key. But, you know, you know, boys can peep the shoe game. I'll probably have these bad boys on. Next is my first pair of 13s, man. The Hyper Royal 13s. This is literally my first pair of 13s. I've never had a pair of 13s a day in my life. And I knew I had to get them, man. And what sold me on this shoe is one, the, the colorway. I like the like the blue. Just it's a nice, it's just a nice chill blue. It pops, uh, especially during the daytime. And the 3M. I'm sure you guys can see it reflecting off my uh my key light. But yeah, bro, this 3M looks so sick, man, bro. It's just it, it's this what makes the shoe fantastic in my opinion and surprisingly i didn't know 13s was this, this comfortable like i love wearing these shoes bro they're hella comfortable bro so yeah man nice simple and sleek i enjoy wearing these a lot man and uh yeah my first pair of 13s i've ever got next up my second pair of 13s the starfish 13s man i as soon as I got them hyper rolls and I found out these were dropping, had to get them because I have quite a bit of, of, of like clothing that are orange and you know what I'm saying, that pop out and this is perfect. I put these on, I feel like boys is gonna see me a mile away. Love, just simple, simple design. Once again, these 13s are hella comfortable and the orange, you can't go wrong with it. If you guys know anything about me or you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you know, I like colorful, colorful clothes, colorful, you you know shoes and this is perfect for me man so love these 13s man dope I'm rocking with them now we get into to something nice right here the hair sixes now what makes these so special to me one i like the design on the box shows a carrot but the main thing that makes these so dope the colorway so beautiful bro if you know anything about the hair collection is it's a rare it's a rare collection like the hair sevens are super rare I'm not gonna lie to you i've always wanted hair sevens they're pretty much the same colorway as this but i'm not gonna lie to you these look better this colorway looks better on jordan sixes and for those who don't know the jordan sixes is my favorite number i love the gel bottom love the design the the gray suede oh my god the hair colorway like even on the tongue just it's fantastic bro like i love these shoes bro i don't really wear them as much but when i do like these are just an instant hit bro these shoes are so dope to me so this is one of my favorite pair of sixes not gonna lie to you love this colorway this is the first time it's ever been released this colorway on this particular shoe and i hope they don't release another pair of hair sixes for a very long time um i'm rocking with these i'm gonna be rocking with these for a very long time as well all right now these right here these right here these are actually the first pair of jays that i recently bought within the last year i'm not gonna lie to you and these so much sentimental value none other than the one and only dmp sixes it's not actually from the dmp pack you guys know but i basically call them the dmp sixes because that's what they are first and foremost box already let you know what you're about to get into i like the golden box wish it was all golden but i'm okay with this these shoes right here mean so much to me as a kid one of my cousins uh that actually got me into into shoes shout out to you patrick man he got me into shoes i remember when he got the dmp package the dmp came with 11s uh, a pair of jordan 11s and these now this is not the same one but this is a reimagining of it i like the fact the gold jump man tag man i'm sorry if i ever see anybody wearing these you gotta have the tag on your shoe it's so dope i love the gold jump man tag i love the finish just this buttery suede i love the chrome gold or the gold finish on the back like if anything they did a 
real good job of updating how the dmp sixes looked in the actual pack i like the the uh the white gel to keep it you know keep it clean at the bottom man this is i love these shoes bro i love these shoes bro these are so so good man even the little 23 at the bottom man this these are nice you can't go wrong with these um once again like i said six is on my favorite pair of jordan so i'm looking forward to getting some more jays this year and getting back into the J game uh you know what i'm saying i i recently retired but i, I came back you know i came back and I, i'm loving the jays that i have gotten and these are actually all the jays so far that i've gotten more is on the way but i love these man i love the pair that i have because anytime i wear them i just i feel good when they're on my feet man so yeah dmp sixes must cop you just you just gotta have them just gotta have them now now we're about to work our way through the the rest of the collection most of these are air max 90s air max 95s air max 97s air max 98s air max uh 270s 270 c's yeah it's it's nothing but air maxes at this point and they're comfortable they're different in design so this part is going to probably go by quick but i just wanted to bring this out for you guys so got these air max 90s right here one thing that made me get these not even gonna lie is the jean snitching i don't stitching i said snitching the jean stitching i don't know if you guys know this but when it comes lately like air maxes and not even just air maxes other other brands of uh, nike shoes they've been incorporating like jean material onto the actual shoe i think that's dope it's unique i like the the laces nice fit bro I, I love these shoes i don't really wear them that much but when i do put them on my feet these are nice got some more nice air max 90s man i like the the nike air on these simple i like the blending from the red all the way to the black that's kind of what made me get them in the clear clear nike check i don't think you can really see it but got the clear nike check nice little laces man uh yeah it's just it's just nice nice little colorway man red is also my favorite color for those who don't know so yeah nice little simple colorway you can't go wrong with this one as well now some of my uh air maxes they are part of a collection and i like to get some of that collection this these right here are part of the air bubble uh collection of air maxes that they re uh released like maybe a couple years ago or a year ago now what makes these so dope i don't know if you can see it you probably can't but because of the light but there are actually bubbles on the shoe right here nothing but bubbles it's actual bubbles right here i love this design there's bubbles all over the shoe it's 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 cool bro these are some of my favorite pair of air maxes it's just the design itself is so cool also it both they come in with like in the in the shoe box they come with a little air bubble nike tag so i always thought that was just a nice little you know just something dope to you know add to add to the collection and the same with these uh uh reacts 270s the air reacts same way there's some bubbles on the tongue right here uh it's not many bubbles on the actual shoe but mostly bubbles on the tongue so you can see the comparison of both of them they fit in the collection i'm rocking with them man these these are pretty cool i don't wear them often but when i do i feel good in them let's get into these air max 95s now recently with the air max 95s i've had some a few uh, like maybe three four years ago they weren't designed how they are now now they have this like little shoe like it's like a shoe pocket so it really is hard for you to lose your footing in these shoes like they really wrap around your foot pretty tight without you even having to tie them sometimes you really don't even have to tie these they're not coming off your foot if you get the proper size i like the colorways on this some simple some different I like the just the colorways is what sell, sold me on this and the uh, the blue sole at the bottom that's what sold me on these so yep my air max 95s man all righty we got the air max 97s man nice simple colorway i wish you could see it better but the lighting is kind of obstructing it but uh yeah it has the the highlight material on it like i said can't really see it too well but these are cool, man. They're, they're not as comfortable. What I've learned about the 9.7s, they're not really that comfortable on feet. So I can't really stand in these for too, too long. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm for the most part, 
I like them, you know, just sleek, something, nothing too crazy. The colors work, you know, with the white, they pop out a little bit. So yeah, got these. Now, surprisingly, these 9.8s, more comfortable than the 9.7s. I like these 9.8s, has this like little basketball material on the check. Um, I'm loving the orange, it's like the the real, like it's like a burnt orange color. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with it. These are actually my first pair of 9.8s, never had a pair of 9.8s. Um, it's cool, simple. It's the color for me, man. That's that's what kind of sells me on this shoe. Now, when I saw these in the mall, I knew I was getting them. You can't tell me this colorway is not sexy. It's the blue and the green. Got the leather around. It's this is these shoes are just sexy. The blue air bubble, just just I don't even have to say much. I, I don't just just look at it. Look at it. I, I want y'all to look at it. It's just so beautiful, bro. I love these 9.7s. Once again, can't stay in them for too long, but love them. Back with some more 9.7s. Love this colorway, too. Once I saw these in stores, like, oh, got to get them. Look at this. I have the perfect shirt to match them to. If you guys see me on Instagram, you've seen me wear these with the shirt. Oh, man, these, they're just so nice. Got the red, orange, yellow. Ugh, my God, I, they just look so good, bro. These are sexy as hell. Love these shoes. So, yeah, another pair of 970s These are mm mm mm. Every time I pull these hoes out, I I just I know somebody's checking the kicks out. I know they are. Got the Air 270 Reacts, Nike Reacts. Love this. Once again, colorway is what got me on the shoe. Got the yellow and the blue, and it's just these nice designs, how they fade in. And these are hella comfortable. You can see with the huge bubble at the back, hella, hella comfortable. I like the, the little, little tags they have out here on the tongue and just the shoe lock. Like, it's, it's just, and there's other ways you can lock the shoelaces up. It's so dope worth the purchase there I've, I've been seeing them a lot on sale so if you actually want a pair of these you can get these uh not just just this colorway but other ones on sale for a reasonable price under the, under a hundred dollars not gonna lie to you so definitely worth the purchase back with some more nine sevens man ah it's the silver goldish metallic vibe i'm liking this um it's it's just it's something different it's something different. It's, it's not something that you see too often. And um, I'm loving the colorway on this. It's, the silver is really the part that set it off for me. I've only worn these once. Only worn them once. I'm not sure when I'm going to wear them again. But uh, yeah, love these 9.7s. Like, 9.7s, like I said, they're uncomfortable. But the, the colorways on them are so great. We're back with some Air Max 90s. Love this colorway, man. Look at this. Look at this. This is it's like basically like someone just threw some paint on on around the Nike check. I love it. Vibrant pops. You know what I'm saying? Only thing is you gotta make sure you keep them clean because the majority of the shoe is white. But outside of that, I love it. And I like the insole. Look at the insole. A lot of these shoes have some pretty cool insoles, man. I know a lot of people may not care about it, but I care about the insole just as much as the outside of the shoe. So I thought these were pretty cool to pick up. This right here. Not gonna lie, some of my favorite pair of Air Max 95s. I like the tongue with the Nike and the, the check as the mouth, the different colors on the actual shoe itself. And the gel bottom is so deliciously awesome. Love gel bottoms on Air Maxes. This is fantastic, one of my favorite pair of 95, 95s. And on the insole, it says, have a nike day on the insole that's what it says have a nike day love these shoes man one of my favorite pair of nine fives right here these are my second i want to say or maybe my third i'm not sure but i believe these are like my my second pair i think these are my third pair of nine eights could be wrong i think so the blending of the colors on this shoe is what what made me want to get it i just i just like how how they just blend together it's like a spectrum of just orange and you know i like me some orange as well so i'm rocking with these i believe these are my third pair of nine eights that i've ever purchased all right now these nine eights i'm about to show y'all probably the most unique pair of nine eights i've ever gotten and i actually purchased these last year on my birthday happened to find them randomly in the mall I'm going to probably butcher the name of these 9.8s, but these are the La, 
I have to look this up just to make sure. La Mez Mezgla? La Mezgla? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it so wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. But just know, these 9.8s are just god tier in my opinion look at these they come with different laces they come with the uh, the light blue and the lime green laces the colorway on them is fantastic bro love it they also have some coordinates right here i don't know if you guys can see it there's like some coordinates on the shoe you probably can't because the lighting but there's actual coordinates on the actual shoe itself i love the insole looks so fantastic bro they got the gel bottom at the bottom i love the blue bubble it's bro and the, the material here is like this rough leather like yo these are sick the i've only worn these ones and i only wore these on my birthday these are obviously one of my sickest pair of nine eights man i just just love them bro just love them man if you're able to get these Cop them, bro. They're worth. They're worth it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Back with some more um, React 270s. These are actually my first pair of React 270s. And as soon as I put them on my foot, I knew I wanted them. Anytime I walk out with them, like people are like, yo, these kicks are dope as hell. Look at the just the colors. I don't even have to tell you anything. Just look at the colors. That's it. Just look. Look at the colors, bro. It's just ridiculous. Oh my goodness, I don't I don't know what to say except look at the colors. Back with some more Air Max 270s, man. Ah, I love this because of the space theme. This is part of a collection as well. It's part of the Supernova collection. Um, I love this because it's, it just has this nice little dope space theme. It's cool, bro. Like I've gotten plenty of compliments when I pull these out because it's just a it's just a nice dope shoe these 90s air max 90s are also part of the supernova collection comes with a nice little tag comes with a metallic nike tongue got the space supernova vibe i love it bro you even got like little space dots right around the air bubble love these shoes even the insole pretty cool got a little space galaxy by like in you know surrounding like a nike check i love these shoes man dope 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 worth the purchase if you're able to get some of the uh shoes from the supernova collection may want to check them out rocking with these the tokyo nine fives man well, not tokyo i said that wrong the korea nine fives man love these nine fives anytime i pull these out instant yo these shoes is dope love i get compliments on these shoes it's so so with the korea colors it's just such a dope dope it's just a, such a dope shoe look you can got got nice little tongue you know what I'm saying like the korea emblem you know what I'm saying what they were going with uh it's part of a i, I think just just the shoe was just particularly they dropped this shoe and then like clothing to match it particular to this shoe so um i love this shoe man definitely worth the purchase um it's something that people will definitely see you like oh yo you got some nice heat on your feet man this is a I call these the attention grabbers, man, because they do grab a lot of people's attention. There's something about blue shoes that do it for me. Nothing too crazy about the all blue, lime green bubble. That That's literally it. They're comfortable as hell. I probably only wear this just, to, you know, if I'm like maybe, maybe just on some chill stuff, not trying to do too much. I'll probably pull these out. Haven't pulled these out in like probably six months, but yeah, very comfortable, straight to the point. I'm rocking with these air 270s now the next few shoes you guys are about to see are part of the worldwide collection air max 90s part of the worldwide collection look at it look look at the string itself sold me on the shoe got worldwide going all around the brim got worldwide up the tongue the sole itself is part of the worldwide collection like just how it's designed um and uh you go got the Got the Nike Air on the back. I'm rocking with these. These are perfect, bro. I love these shoes, bro. These these are such six. I, I love these, man. So the next few shoes you're about to see is nothing but worldwide collection related shoes. So let's get into these. All right, I'm back. My camera died. 
I forgot how many shoes I have. So we're on to the next one. So once again, uh, left off on the Nike Worldwide uh, collection pack. These are some cool 9.5s. I like the tag on these. I like the Worldwide going up the shoelaces. Um, worldwide is all around the shoe. And once again, the insole of the shoe is pretty dope. Uh, I'm rocking with these, man. And uh, the bottom have different Nike checks, different color Nike checks. But these shoes, I'm only worn them maybe two three times but i love just the way they look on my feet man and uh yeah part of the collection as well once again part of the nike worldwide collection more or less the same type of colorway they have the worldwide colorway uh the insole on this one just says worldwide you probably can't see it um but i actually like these man these are these are actually pretty damn comfortable. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, I like the worldwide on the tag on this, on the tongue on this one. Um, like the little mesh material between the shoes, the color mesh. It's cool, man. Worldwide collection has probably been one of my favorite collection just to be able to get in each colorway on the shoe. It's more or less the same, but I just like how they de design it, so. And the last bit, last pair of shoes i have for the worldwide collection none other than the uh air max uh nike reacts 270 c whatever you want to call them like the colorway on the side of the uh shoelaces um of course i got worldwide going up the tongue worldwide in the shoe in the sole like the green air bubble pretty comfortable um not gonna lie to you i've only worn these once only worn these ones I, I feel like with the worldwide collection you know they're pretty much the same colorway so it just depends on which ones i feel like wearing at the time but i've only worn these ones but hella comfortable love the worldwide collection definitely you guys get a chance to get anything worldwide or worldwide love related you definitely check it out actually i have another worldwide collection shoe but i'll get it once i get to it now this right here one of my favorite air uh 270s well seven, uh, yeah one of my favorite 270s uh reacts um right here man these uh, these are nice bro the the multiple colors on on the shoe you got green got forest green got orange you got purple got the gray got the the lighter tan you got like this this brownish tan light tan you got pink it's just nice the insole is dope love this shoe let me show you the shoe it actually the other shoe has a tag on it. it comes with a nice little tag on it right here so i love this shoe man this is hella comfortable very colorful and uh it's uh it's up there as one of my favorite um nike react kicks that i be wearing all right next one is these nice uh air max 95s like one thing i like about these is it comes with this big nike logo on the side of it so i uh, i'm definitely rocking with these i like the colorways on these um pretty simple nothing too crazy uh i like these kicks uh worn them a few times uh last year but uh yeah rocking with these like the the color on the air bubble nothing too crazy another pair of 95s man um love the colors on this the yellow the pink the black the blue these are always every time i wear these is their attention grabbing shoes i like the pink black uh back bubble and the blue uh lower bubbles at the front of the shoe always love wearing these shoes love these kicks one of my favorite like the bottom as well um but yeah can't go wrong with these as well some classic nine fives with the silver black and red you guys know red is my favorite color um nothing too crazy with these like i originally got these just because i wanted some black and red shoes so yeah these are pretty simple you know I, I rarely wear these and when i do and you know i'm not really just trying to impress or nothing like that it's just really just the color coordinate with whatever i have now these are some of my favorite air max 90s bro look this is fur this is a fur material on the tongue on the nike tongue fur material on the inside oh my god fur nike nike swoosh right here uh the colors are just so vibrant i love this shoe like i'm not even gonna lie to you anytime i'm wearing these i get some compliments off these love these shoes bro love them love them love them some of my favorite 90s I'm not gonna lie this was the shoe that started off my collection in uh 2019 at the end of 2019 this is the shoe the first shoe i started off my collection with i i believe i want to say this was the first shoe i started off my collection with yo these are nice tailwinds love the the spectrum color on these 
just starts with red, goes down to like a little pink and yellowish. I love these, bro. I love these so, so much. I don't wear them much. I like the inside of them, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, I have not worn these in probably, it's been close to almost a year. It's been a minute since I've worn these. I like the gold. It's not, it's like a little bit like a gold tint on the uh, tips, on the, on the shoelace tips, but love this shoe. This is kind of what started off my uh, shoe collection from uh, 20, uh, at the end of 2019. So yeah, man, these shoes right here, very sentimental to me. Uh, I think they're my only pair. Of, no, I got another pair of Tailwinds, but these are nice though. Love these, man. I call these my gold members. Got me some more Nike Reacts 270s, man. Love these. Um, I like the gold air bubble at the back. That's kind of what sold me on it. Um, black and gold um it's, it's nothing too crazy like i've only worn these twice but these are cool man i like these a lot they're very comfortable um any nike reacts you can't go wrong with. you can literally wear these all day and and not feel like any type of pain or discomfort in your foot they're very comfortable for me so i would definitely invest in if you want a fashionable comfortable shoe can't go wrong with some nike reacts now these right here i'm not gonna lie to you these right here did not expect to get these was not even on my radar but saw them on sale uh they they remind me of like some hiking shoes but they're very different i've only worn these twice uh i just like the colors on these um problem with these i think i got them a little bit too small on the nike website so i can't really wear them too much because i think they're a little bit too small for me uh, i like the pink the black the yellow it, it looks like some hiking shoes honestly it, to me it's like some hiking type shoes but uh, they're cool you know what i'm saying i just wish i would have got them in a bigger size it probably would have been a, a little bit more comfortable for me but um other than that um yeah these these are cool you know i just like the the, the nice little crazy patterns on the straps um i'm rocking with these but like i said i can't really wear them too much so because i can't feel them like that these are the 90s i'd be forgetting that i have i'm not gonna lie to you i sometimes forget i even have these like the shoelaces on here of course you know i am with the insole like the insole on here um colorway is pretty chill got the yellow um got this this navy navy blue type finish uh purple swoosh um nothing too crazy i got I, this is these are the 90s i forget that i have i've only worn them maybe once <laughs> i forget i have them but uh if i can find some more stuff color wise to wear with these i'll definitely be pulling these bad boys out easily my most vibrant pair of air max 95s oh my god the highlights alone on this shoe sells it anytime i wear this you gonna see me a mile away this is so nice love this it's just a vibrant color i knew when these drop i had to get them like the nike going up and down the uh the shoelace um yeah this the only reason why i got these because they're so vibrant so colorful got the neon green you know neon color going with it like I love these definitely if you're able to find these somewhere get them get them because these not a lot of people have these uh that i've seen so yeah i'm rocking with these they kind of went quick on the web on the nike website self-explanatory black and white air max 90s that's it and i ain't even gotta really tell you much black and white air max 90s you gotta have you at least one pair of black and white shoes uh, i'll probably get some more but these are cool um not too bad nothing wrong with these you know just just some regular air max 90s another personal favorite of mine these air max 90s are top tier in my opinion look at the tongue like the tongue it reminds me it's like it's got the the colorway it reminds me of some cheese it looks like some cheese <laughs> like this is this is i love this shoe love this colorway man it's just so sick so simple love the feel of the suede it's just a nice nice colorway these are also one of my favorite air max 90s man I, I love these so much can't go wrong with these can't go wrong with some reacts once again love the colorways they pop anytime i wear these yo these shoes are nice that's why i get them because the colorways itself just check it out orange bubble just it's just so nice love these love these so so much man orange sole in the middle in the in the shoe nothing else to say other than these are definitely a cop if you're ever able to find them definitely get you some and they're comfortable you can't beat that 
I had these for a minute. I want to say these are my second pair of shoes that I bought in, uh, to start the collection off in late 2019. I honestly work out in these. I still keep them clean. Uh, I don't really wear these too much. I work out in them. I may dance in these, but they're just comfortable. Very comfortable. Nothing too crazy. I still keep them clean for the most part. Very, very, very comfortable. Can't go wrong with some Air 270s, man. Very comfortable. Now, these are some of my favorite Air 270s. The rainbow colorway on this. The spectrum starts from like this light blue, pink, orange, yellow. The blue, light baby blue bubble in the back. I don't know how many compliments I've gotten off these shoes. Like, yo, these shoes are so dope. Yo, where'd you get them from? Yo, I love your shoes. These shoes, attention grabbers, favorite pair of air, regular Air 270s, you know what I'm saying? And very comfortable. Haven't worn them in a couple months, but I'm about to pull these bad boys out. One time for the one time. Second pair of Tailwinds. Have not worn them much. Love them, love them. Like the red like the red and uh black stripes all the way through primarily a white shoe nothing too crazy actually got these on sale got these for like 60 dollars at the mall they were on sale had to cop them love them love the colorways on this um yeah tailwinds can't go wrong with them man recently just got these want to say maybe in december just cop these love these so so much bro like yo um the, the TNs, man, got the TN logo in the back, bro. These, these are nice, bro. I like the little, little shoe, little shoe lock right here, shoelace lock, man. Colorways is so sick. They're very comfortable. I've only worn them once. Can't wait to pull these back out again. Love these shoes, bro. They're just so fucking sick, bro. Love these so much, dog. Also, another uh, favorite pair or another pair I like of the Air Max 90s. This one's all. You see the material is like this reusable like they say it's like reusable material or whatnot but it's like this jean stitched on material i love it so much simple effective none too crazy i like this shoe like these so so much and uh yeah man it's something about jean material on the kicks i'm all for it man hopefully they drop some more uh air max 90s with this type of material on it now these are nasty oh these nine sevens got the got the polka dots right here got the if, if you're a laker fan i think this is a must-have guy it's like this royal purple it's not even like royal purple it's like it's like a royal blue but i, I still think you could rock this with like a laker fit if you're a laker fan i think you would love these kicks i love these bro i've only worn them like maybe once but i love them oh my god these are so so nice with the red air bubble at the bottom Man, 97's not comfortable, but they have the best colorways in my opinion. Once again, another pair of Air Max 97's, but these are special. Why are these special, you're probably asking. These are like a Halloween edition. You got the, the purple, but here, the shoe actually glows up. This, this whole bottom gel sole glows in the dark. It got this Halloween type ooze drip over the Nike check. Oh my... Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I seen them, like, actually, I literally stood in a closet just to see if they glowed in the dark. They actually do glow in the dark, bro. It looks so, so sick. I like the drip going around the shoe as well. These are the, the spooky Nike edition, bro. Um, Air Max 97s, you just can't go wrong with these. These are so, so, so fuego, bro. Love these, love these so much. This is the last shoe I have of the Air Max. I said Air Max of the worldwide collection. Um, I like these nine uh, nine fives right here. Uh, these are these. I, I like the little little designs on it. Little worldwide pattern designs. Of course, worldwide pattern design in the sole. Uh, it does come with uh, white shoelaces, I believe. I bl I think it's black, and these shoelaces, the lime green. Love it. This is another addition to the worldwide collection that i think is so so dope i like worldwide collection like logo on the tongue this is perfect bro something about these shoes bro i just i don't wear them much i don't wear them much but when i do pull them out this is i know it's it's something different not everybody has so yeah i'm rocking with these and last but not least probably my most unique pair of shoes the tear away nine eight now you're probably wondering what is tear away what is what does that mean well 
if you look close you can see like it looks frayed and distressed right on the edges of the color and uh, the seams well actually i had to cut that when you get the shoe originally it comes in all white this whole shoe is literally all white what makes it tear away is you can wear it with the all white or whatnot say you get it dirty right you can either you don't have to clean it up in fact what you do is cut away the top layer of the shoe and it reveals the bottom layer of the actual shoe that is probably the coolest design for a shoe i have ever seen in my life i never thought in a million years you'd be able to tear the top layer of your shoe to reveal the bottom layer of the of the shoe itself so it's like two shoes in one if you want to go with the all whites cool but if you want a different color or whatnot you want to you know you want to you know see what the other color is you just peel off the top layer and it shows you this and it's just different colors all throughout the shoe i'm still trying to tear off some pieces of it so i got to keep working on it to keep tearing it off and, you know get an even get it to look a little bit better but I'm not gonna lie the coolest pair of nine eights i have ever gotten man and i'm looking forward to copping some more tear away kicks so yeah these are dope bro i'm rocking with these and uh my recent pickups and that's it y'all that is my complete collection of kicks i have so far once again i did start late 2019 like in october 2019 all the way to now where we are in uh 2021 um yeah man I, I i i love these shoes bro and if you're probably trying to figure out how many pair i have in total i have 51 pair of kicks as of right now as of today 51 pair of kicks man and uh yeah i just I'm, I'm blessed to even be able to have this many pair of shoes. I never thought I'd ever have this many pair of shoes. Um, and it's all because of you guys, like I said at the beginning of the video. Without your guys' support and and just love for what we do, we wouldn't be able to make a living off this, let alone be able to get these shoes. And I'm very thankful. But I want to make a, 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 a very important message for anybody that, you know what I'm saying, you know want to get shoes or want to start collecting live within your means and what i mean by that is these shoes i've gotten you know what I'm saying a lot of these i've gotten on sale you know what i'm saying a lot of these i didn't even pay full price for i don't want people to try to get some stuff because they they see a popular youtuber or, or influencer or something they, they have they like have it and then they they spend their whole paycheck on it like no live within your means there's nothing wrong with saving up your money to eventually get something that you want but you don't want to buy any shoes and you barely have something to eat or buy any shoes buy these buy these you know a whole bunch of shoes but you still walking to your destination or you have to catch a ride like live within your means and that's what i want people to understand i've worked hard to get these shoes that i've gotten and i'm very thankful but i never go broke over them there's been shoes i passed up on because i was like you know what let me put the money towards something else let me buy some equipment let me buy something that i need now more than worrying about some kicks because at this point i'm good right now you know what i'm saying i i don't i don't have to worry about trying to you know what i'm saying get the latest kicks if i get them i get them if i don't it's cool i have plenty to wear you feel me so just wanted to put that out there i don't drop this video to flex i only dropped this video because you guys asked me to check out the shoe collection and i wanted to make this video for you guys so this is i don't ever want anyone to think oh Ross trying to flex on us. No, if anything, if this is something that you want to get, save up, be reasonable. Don't, don't overspend over on on a pair of shoes unless that's something you really want. And make sure you live within your means, man. So, but yeah, that's it, man. Pretty much, uh, this is my my uh, video, the infamous shoe collection video. I'll probably do another one at the end of the year, probably with the extended collection, because my goal is to ultimately get this this shoe wall up to the ceiling as much as possible so I, I can't wait for that to happen so at the end of the year i'll show y'all what other kicks i was able to obtain if that's something that you guys would be interested in but uh comment down below let me know what was your favorite pair of kicks you uh seen in this video if you don't know the name of them timestamp um in the comment section which uh um timestamp the actual 
your favorite pair of kicks that you've seen in this video and i want to get your guys opinion on which ones you guys like um but i'm very thankful for you guys you guys are truly amazing and i wouldn't be in the situation i'm in now if it wasn't for you guys but i appreciate all the love and support road to 40k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace